Now, if you're in a relationship with an alcoholic, with an active alcoholic, and it's been going on for three or four or five years, and you're not yet married, uh, my advice is do not get married. Do not even think about marriage until, if ever, the person decides that they are going to actively get help and they've, and they've actually gone down that road for maybe a couple of years. It's actually irresponsible for both parties to get involved with each other. If one of them is an alcoholic, it's very uh, selfish for the alcoholic to bring somebody into the web of this disease. Uh, it's extremely self-serving for an alcoholic to do that because they realize that they're creating someone who will probably end up taking care of them and it's not a healthy relationship for either party. And really the reason I'm making this video is because recently I've had a lot of clients and potential, potential clients have fallen into this kind of criteria where a lot of times uh, one or the other becomes the caretaker for the other one. And it really becomes uh, uh, an unnatural, unhealthy decision to stay in a relationship like that, especially if you're not legally married. Um, the alcoholic has to get help first before they should be involved in any mature, uh, established relationship because they're only going to drag everyone down until they figure it out for themselves, until they're able to get help and to seek recovery. Uh, there's no reason they should be in a relationship, period. And that may sound very harsh for somebody who doesn't understand, but uh, you, you cannot drag somebody else into this madness knowing that you're going to put the other person in harm's way. And on that note, you know, the, the other person may be an innocent. They may not be familiar with alcoholism. They may not understand it, and they might even fall into the criteria where you know, maybe they think they can fix you. But it makes about as much sense as trying to fix somebody who has cancer. It's not going to happen unless the alcoholic has made the decision to get there, to, you know, to do the work and do the activities that they need to do to put it into recovery and remission. And until that happens and, and a period of time goes by, there should, there should be no relationship that's going to be legally standing. Uh, that's not somebody, that's not a relationship anybody should be in. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, innocent people do get involved sometimes with someone who is an alcoholic. They become uh, a lot of times the enabler, the codependent, uh, and they lose their fear of being alone, becomes priority over rational common sense. And they end up getting caught into the web and emotions do happen and then they get sucked into it and their own life is dragged down along with it. So if this scenario resonates with you at all and you're, uh, you do fall for someone who is an alcoholic, who is an active alcoholic, the best thing you can do for them is probably leave them because it will allow them to realize that they're no longer going to have that safety net in their life and they're gonna, you know, that may be the, you know, that may be the, the watershed moment that they realize that they're losing relationships because they're not seeking help, because they're not taking the action that they need to. That they're not going to the de detox rehab. They're not going to the group therapy meetings and taking it seriously. So if your if your relationship has come to the point where you know I I need a boundary and this needs to end, well, it may force the other person to finally get seek help. Uh, you can revisit that maybe a year or two down the road, but do, do not uh, in any way, shape, or form get into a deep relationship with someone who's an active alcoholic. And again, this is you know solid, real-world advice for someone who does find themselves in this position, either the alcoholic or the non-alcoholic. They don't mix. Uh, and again, if you're ready to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I've helped thousands of uh, alcoholics. I've also helped their families. We educate the family, and we figure out why the alcoholic is drinking to begin with the core issue, and we mend it all back together. Uh, please like, share, and comment. And again, we have a Facebook group called Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It's become a very good support group. And again, thanks for listening.